Hey y'all, welcome back. I hope you guys are doing well. This is going to be for um, anybody that feels called to watch this reading. There could be obviously messages here for you. And if it's not, just leave the rest for someone else, okay? Flip and switch the roles. All right. Um, thank you guys so much for your love, your support, and your um, donations. Your super thanks. The love never goes unnoticed. And I am returning that back to you all tenfold. Okay, anything you guys need to know about me is going to be down below in the description box. And please be aware of the fake pages that are on here and on any other um, social media platforms, okay? So let's see, collective, what's going on with y'all? All right, spirit guides, angels, ancestors, ascended masters, gods and goddesses, please return any spell work, any dark magic that is sent to harm the collective and their loved ones. Me and my loved ones are turning back to the sender. Block any interferences that could be stopping the messages from coming through. Clear, concise, and precise messages for the collective. And protect me as I channel the messages here. For the collective. So let's see. Somebody here could be going to like therapy for something. Okay. Okay. Emotional abuse and temperamental. Mm. Or somebody need therapy for some shit, okay? Somebody is mad that maybe some sort of emotional abuse is not working on you or whatever. Mm. Somebody could be physically abusive as well. Like, let's see what else. Cause that, that lady or that man got marks on himself. So we have inconspicuous, not clearly visible, nor attracting attention. Moving on, focusing on me. Then we have liar. And then we have stable woman. They have their shit together. Bottom of the deck is narcissist. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Love spells, sexually transmitted disease, Sagittarius. Sexually transmitted disease could be just sexually transmitted demons. Somebody's doing magic on your love life here, collective. Could be a Sagittarius doing this. It doesn't have to be. Or somebody, there's a narcissist here that could be bribing people to do certain things. They're like, yeah, if you do this to this person or if you do this to the collective, I'll pay you or I'll give you something or you can get whatever it is that you want. I just need you to do this shit, <laughs> this dumbass shit. So, okay, let's see. Like somebody here made it seem like they had it like that like somebody lied about their wealth or they faked their wealth here somebody really wanted to put on a show or like some sort of image to the world as if they had it like that and they don't they're a loser really <laughs> okay justice and the eight of swords somebody here could be going to jail they're going to jail period libra here we got gemini so let's see i don't know i think i'm about to turn this fan on it's kind of hot now damn two of pentacles seven two seven is on the clock you guys will be seeing those synchronicities okay all right so let's see did i did I split the day? I'll just do it again. What is inconspicuous here? The lovers, <clears throat> Gemini energy. So right now, collective, there could be something here cloaked around your energy. Like I feel like something is really being protected. Okay, something is really like being protected here. Um, this could be a divine union coming together or 
something like that. But I feel like you and somebody are really like protected here. Um, some of y'all might have to make a major decision or whatever, but I just feel like this is more so of a partnership, a union coming together. What's inconspicuous with the lovers? Or this could be your uh, your energy balancing out here, your yin and your yang. Um, yeah, and the, my glasses feel like that. The four cups. Cancer moon. Yeah, some of you guys could be trying to also make a clear decision about your work. Okay, you could be trying to make some sort of major decision about your work because you could be bored somewhere, you're discontent somewhere. So you're trying to make a decision. I feel like somebody here really works hard to keep like divine beings apart from each other. Somebody here really likes to see someone's love life be shitty. Like they, they like to see somebody get rejected or somebody feels rejected because you're deciding to kind of like move forward. You're rejecting somebody. Okay, somebody could also be trying to figure out who you're dating. All right, what's, what's the... Somebody could also be getting bored with sex or those kind of connections that are just sexual. Oh, what's the lovers? Cancer moon. Yeah, wow, the Ten of Pentacles, exactly. So definitely wealth and prosperity here with the Ten of Pentacles. Whatever you're getting ready to do for work or wherever you're getting ready to go as far as your relationship is leading to the Ten of Pentacles. A lot of wealth, stability, and security here. You and somebody are getting ready to come together to create. And it's protected. Seven of Wands is what I was getting. You connecting to your divine counterpart here really is going to help your finances elevate and grow. For sure. Somebody here is making progression with their money. Or you will be. You and your person could be sharing different ideas or something like that. Or whatever. But what's the lovers here with the Ten of Pentacles? I'm getting to... You're getting ready to align with someone that's actually... That y'all have the same values and morals, yeah, and things like that. Three of Wands. Yeah, so I'm seeing growth and expansion here. Definitely, you know, if this isn't like no divine counterpart, because not everybody has twins or whatever, this is some a higher level soulmate that you could be getting ready to get married to in the future, or it's just you and somebody here are aligned. I feel like you also are only supposed to be sharing your sexual energy with this person, is what I'm getting. Okay, you and this person could be at a distance here, but I see some sort of growth or expansion or this could be travel. I don't know. When y'all when y'all come together, it's going to be like really magical. <laughs> like shit just going to start changing out of nowhere when y'all connect, especially sexually. If this is your counterpart. Yeah, it's going to be like some sort of kundalini awakening or something like that. But I'm seeing growth and expansion here. I'm getting your ships coming in. Yeah, so what's the four of cups? The six of swords. Yeah, let me see something. Let me write something down real quick. Okay, Six of Swords, Aquarius, Mercury. What's the Four of Cups here with the Six of Swords? So somebody is discontent with you moving forward or as you're moving forward, you're experiencing some sort of stalemate. You could be getting ready to kind of like move or needing to do something here. Yeah, the Two of Cups. You could be kind of like needing to move or relocate or do something here if you're hitting the like a, a stalemate with whatever you're trying to do. Okay, I see you moving forward, but it's like you've hit some sort of stalemate or some sort of wall because there could be a need to change something or do something here. Make different career changes or something like that. But what's this Four of Cups with the Six of Swords? 
Yeah, the Eight of Cups reversed. Is insecurities. Somebody here is faking their happiness. They're not really happy somewhere. Very insecure. Someone is like, um, that there's stagnancy here with the Eight of Cups reverse. I feel like uh somebody whoever this is for some of you, somebody here is following you, or they've been following you for a long time and they don't like what the fuck they're seeing, or they don't like where the fuck you're going. They feel rejected. Somebody here followed you in hopes that you wouldn't reject them, but you did. It's because you know that this person here, they got some shit going on with them. Like the Eight of Cups reversed. Somebody needs to heal. What's this? What's this Eight of Cups reverse? What's this? Pisces, Saturn. Somebody's not learning lo uh, lessons in love here or something. Yeah, the Four of Wands in the reverse. Aries, Venus. So that's like dysfunction. Somebody could be in a dysfunctional family dynamic or someone could have all of a sudden just jilted someone or left something behind. And whoever this is, somebody's like really faking their happiness in some sort of dysfunctional family dynamic. Like they're really bored or discontent. But I feel like they followed you in hopes that, that you, I guess, will take them back, but you're not. What's the Six of Swords? Like they followed your whole damn journey. Yeah, Virgo, Energy, Knight of Pentacles, reversed. Whoever this is is superficial and greedy as fuck, okay? They, they they lazy. So somebody was hoping that if they followed you somewhere, this person could even could have even moved or traveled to where you're at. They were hoping that if they followed you somewhere or, or whatever, that you would give them a chance or you would see them differently or whatever, but you don't. I feel like you see them as a punk. <laughs> it's like the same old motherfucker that just haven't changed. Yeah, I feel like you're rejecting them. You don't have time for that shit. Just period. What's moving on? Focusing on me. The chariot, Cancer. What's moving on? Focusing on me with the chariot. Yeah, the Ten of Cups. Yeah, focusing on your happiness, your well-being. Um, you could be focusing on your family as well. Like you could have children and shit that you're focusing on. But this is a lot of like inner happiness and harmony. You guys could be saying 10, 10 as well. So I feel like you're determined to get to your 10 of cups. Definitely could be travel indicated here. Your person could live at a distance or some shit, but are you going to meet your person somewhere else? Like it's not going to be in that same hometown or city, state, country, whatever. But this chariot definitely talks about a uh, determination and drive being triumphant and victorious in love here. Some of y'all can ready to get married and start a family. So congratulations. But definitely you're getting ready to um meet your divine lover. <laughs> yeah. What's this what's this uh chariot? So I feel like you and this person, this love right here, whatever this is, can definitely stand the test of time. Because you and this person have overcome challenges and obstacles together. Maybe on a spiritual level. In the 5D. Yeah, what's the chariot? Seven of Pentacles. Somebody could be surprising you with a car. You could be surprising your child with their first car. That's nice. <laughs> um, But the Seven of Pentacles is definitely an investment. Some sort of seven-year cycle is complete or you're getting ready to go into a seven-year cycle with somebody. It could be longer. Seven to ten years with someone. That's your actual person. Some of y'all could have a child that's seven years old, ten years old. Or you've been in a cycle for that long. Yeah, so I feel like you push through... Through a lot of shit, you did. And I feel like now you're getting ready to make a good investment. I feel like you've been patient. It might have been frustrating, but I feel like you've been patient here. Your ships are coming in and um, I see a lot of growth and expansion. Some sort of money could be also flowing in really quickly for y'all. Like, But let's see, what's the Ten of Cups? 
Yeah, the shrimp car reverse. What's this Tenneco shrimp car reverse? <laughs> Ten of Swords, Gemini energy. Mm. So I feel like you're realizing that somebody here is gossiping about you or slandering you or doing nasty shit to you because they're just insecure. Somebody's insecure. They don't feel good enough. They feel inadequate. They just don't feel themselves. I'm also getting somebody here too could be, somebody could be healing from some sort of stab wound or a gunshot wound or something like that. Someone could be having back pain or back issues or something. But I'm getting, somebody here could also be like sick. If something's going back on somebody else, they're not going to be able to take it. This person, but they, gonna, they can do that shit to you though. But yeah, the sun reverse, they can do that to you, but they, somebody here could have a weak immune system. Okay. What the fuck is this Ten of Swords? So something here is coming to an abrupt ending. Abrupt end. What's the Ten of Swords? Yeah, this King of Wands. What's the Ten of Swords? King of Wands, man. Three of Cups reverse. Yeah, and the the Six of Wands. Yeah. So this person is a damn cheater. They're a cheater, they're a liar, they're a con artist, and they're sitting up here gossiping with a whole bunch of hoes, child. <clears throat> to get people on their side or whatever. And this is you getting ready to step into this Ten of Cups energy where you're happy, you're successful, you're abundant. A lot of blessings, a lot of abundance is coming your way. So somebody feels like they can talk shit about you or whatever, and that's fine. We all get talked shit about. <laughs> okay. And I feel like you don't give a fuck, really at all this king of wands could be ending something abruptly here or this king of wands has been stabbed in the back or you've been stabbed in the back by this fire sign masculine um three comes in reverse somebody could be taking action to get rid of friends different Family members, friends, or people that were, people that just overindulge in stupid shit. And I feel like this is where this victory is coming in at. Like somebody is ready to step up and be a leader and do what they have to do. So this person, these people around this person or around you could feel betrayed because you're mo you're going to the winning team. You're not going to continue to be stealing. I mean, stealing. Okay, seven of swords. You're not going to continue to be, um, okay, the Queen of Wands reverse, Seven of Swords. <laughs> okay, so there's the thief. Yeah, so this person here, they had some sort of plan here to bully you or to... Somebody's just a cheater, though. Somebody could have cheated with a friend or something like that. Like, somebody's just a cheater. And <laughs> just period. There could be even kids coming out of this because they cheated. But this could be like a karmic couple and the bitch that's in the, in the relationship. I guess the man tried to make it seem like, oh, well... They try to do something in a very slick and sly way to make it seem like, oh, it's their fault. They did it. But it's really them that started that shit. And they try to, like, have their hands out of it. Like, oh, it wasn't me that did, bitch. It, it was you that did. But whatever, man. What's liar? You had a judgment. Yeah, whatever this was about here, Collective, I feel like you're being vindicated. You're being vindicated and you're being seen for what the fuck and who the fuck you are. You guys are definitely getting ready to step into your purpose here. You could be going through some sort of, like, awakening but this is you being this strong i feel like very independent self-reliant person that you are somebody here lied and maybe said that you was not and that you weren't what's liar here with the judgment like yeah the empress exactly towards libra energy got scorpio aries leo sag you have fire in your chart or whatever but yeah 
Some of y'all getting ready to step into your purpose here. You could be creating something with the Empress and the Judgment here. But yeah, it's like the Phoenix rising from the ashes here. You're very abundant, very much so blessed, and very confident in yourself with the Empress. Yeah, you're the Empress. Somebody here said that you was not the Empress. You're being seen as just that, as the Empress. What's the Empress? Man or woman? Man or woman. Yeah, the Eight of Pentacles. That's hardworking, very independent. You're going to work for what the fuck you want. You don't look for handouts from no damn body. You don't. Very creative. You're very good at what you do, too. A lot of inner work that you've done. A lot of self-mastery. A lot of mastering your your um, your um projects or whatever this is that you be be doing. <laughs> like, you, you guys would be starting a new business or something like that. Like, what's this judgment? Yeah, the Ace of Cups reversed. <laughs> so I feel like what's being seen right now is that somebody is just, they're a loser. Like somebody here has a lot of like suppressed emotions and feelings here about you. <clears throat> and that's what people are seeing. Like they're, they're realizing like, yeah, you're very hardworking. So what the fuck is this person talking about? This person is obsessed with you. Knight of Cups reverse and the damn page of wands in the reverse. Somebody's like obsessed. Very, very much so obsessed. They are. And this person, this third party here, they got with this king of wands here to hex and curse them or to... They got with this king of wands here to do something here to you. Their whole thing was to get to you here. So they decided to go after a particular person that could be your actual counterpart or something like that i don't know <clears throat> but they wanted to steal this opportunity away so they decided to go ahead and plan something and not let this king of wands obviously know what they were planning to trick this person and to stop fucking with you or whatever this is what's this judgment with the ace cup reverse <laughs> Four of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody is still holding on to some shit or somebody's holding on to something here that um, is just about money. This Ace of Cups reverse could be like an unrequited love situation. I feel like this is you holding yourself back from it. You don't want shit to do with it. You've learned those lessons here in regards or, you know, in, in reference to um, that, that kind of like unrequited love shit. You don't, you don't want that. You want reciprocal love. So I feel like you're really learning how to stay disciplined and <clears throat> you working on a lot of self-love and self-care. Yeah, like I guess somebody expect you to be a hoe or they expect you to like maneuver like they stupid ass, but you're not. You're not. <clears throat> Something too that you've been holding back from for a very long time is getting ready to be resurrected. If there was a lot of feelings or repressed emotions or feelings that you had tucked from another person, you've been holding on to this person, but you haven't been able to really express yourself or something like that. I feel like something is getting ready to be redeemed. You're getting ready to be redeemed or have a second chance at something. Because somebody's doing their inner work here to focus on you, Empress, or, well, yeah, to focus on themselves, obviously, but to put their focus and their time and their energy onto you. Mm-hmm. Hmm. <clears throat> what stable woman they have their shit together? <laughs> yeah, two of cups reverse. What stable woman here with the two of cups reverse? The magician. Yeah, so you took your power back here from a... This could have been like an abusive relationship, an abusive partnership. But I feel like, you know, you took your power back from situations that you know you're incompatible with. You could be getting ready to go towards a stable woman that had their shit together, or this is you. Like, you're 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 in your power here. You're not going to be dealing with nobody that you're incompatible with, or you don't see eye to eye with, or whatever. Like, you don't got time for that shit. <laughs> not at all. What's this two of cups reverse? Definitely you and somebody have a rocky relationship. Yeah, the Ten of Wands reverse. Yeah, and the Six of Cups reverse. So this soul tie here is broken is what I'm getting. This soul tie between you and somebody is broken. You took your power back. Some of you guys have used your your psychic, your psychic abilities or your... 
magic to cut cords or something like that with someone. But I feel like you've just done a lot of inner work naturally. But if there's any like residue <laughs> or anything like that, like some of y'all are psychics or you're, you do magic or something. <clears throat> so yeah this six of cups reverse and the ten of wands reverse i feel like this is you releasing a burden you're letting a burden go here this could definitely have something to do with like your sacral chakra energy is being cleared out from any kind of betrayal or you've healed from that shit something i feel i feel like the whole truth about this breakup too is like you tried and tried and tried with this fucking person but somebody just would never grow up they always someone is just like very childish and they're they're really really burdensome really burdensome like it's like beating a dead horse with somebody so you're just done with it and somebody here could have lied and say oh well they broke up with me because uh they try to make it seem like you did something to them or whatever but you didn't you didn't you ain't do shit to this person what's this ten of wands reverse Yeah, this King of Cups reverse. Somebody here is just, <clears throat> their intuition is blocked. Their creativity here is blocked. Like, someone here could be a damn gaslighter. Or this is just you yet. I mean, this could be somebody that's depressed, they moody, they this and they that. But you, got, you broke up with them because... They don't have nothing going on. What's the magician? <laughs> like, they don't have shit going on here. I feel like somebody got rose tinted view of the past. But you're done with anything that's just not, that you know is not for you. You're not going to be stupid. Yeah, so you're manifesting a king of pentacles. Or oh, this king of pentacles is manifesting you. You're a stable woman that have your shit together. So you're manifesting somebody to match your energy. And it's going to be this king of pentacles. Yeah, you want somebody that's, I feel like you want somebody that's financially stable as well. That's loyal, they're grounded, they're dependable, they're reliable. You can trust them and things like that. Like, I feel like you're trying to make this money too. You don't got time for nobody that don't got shit going on with their life. What's the, what's the magician here? Yeah, the justice. Libra here. So you could be dealing with the Libra. What's the magician with the king of pentacles? Yeah, the king of swords. Yeah, you want <laughs> this king of swords, king of pentacles. This person here, they stand on straight business. This, this person could be, they about their money right now. Whoever this is is manifesting, but I feel like this could be a person. <laughs> this could be a person. They're in this manif uh, this manifestation mode right now. Very serious energy, but I feel like that's what you want. I'm not really getting, what's this King of Pentacles, um, King of Swords together? What's this? Yeah, the temperance. Yeah, whoever this is. <laughs> this could be who you reconciling with, um, collective. This King of Pentacles, King of Swords person. This person could come off as like aloof and shit like that, but I feel like they're focused on something. They're focused on their money. They're focused on their money and just keeping their head on straight. Like somebody is really making head over heart decisions right now. Like it's not too much you finna get out of this person, but I feel like don't rush it because something is happening in divine timing anyways. And whatever this is, is protected. Or this person is, they protecting you. What's the King of Pentacles with the King of Swords and the Temperance? Yeah, double reverse, child. That's what I'm saying. That's your man. <laughs> That's your man. This person is completely stripped of their ego or they've released some sort of devil energy or toxicity from around them. And this person is dead serious about moving forward. They know exactly what they want. They have a clear head, a clear heart, a clear mind. They know where they're going. This person right now with this King of Cups reverse, this could actually be this person where they're kind of like emotionally distant because they're purging a old relationship from their past. So they could be emotionally distant here. I'm not really getting, let me see something. Yeah, the Emperor. What's the King of Cups in the reverse? Yeah, the tower reverses, King Cups reverse, tower reverse. Yeah, nine of cups reverse and the nine of pentacles in the reverse. Mm. So 
So somebody here is kind of like emotionally distant, but they could be being more communic communicative a little bit or talking a little bit more than what they normally would. I feel like it's because right now they're releasing. Yeah, the star. Somebody's like healing and coming out of some sort of conflict or drama or whatever this may be. But this nine of cups in the reverse is definitely nine of cups, nine of pentacles reverse. You guys will be seeing nine, nine, nine. I feel like somebody's releasing a very greedy, stingy person. This person here is a hoe as well. Very codependent. Somebody could be releasing someone that has a lot of addictions and a lot of issues here. Definitely clout hungry, they fame hungry, all kind of shit. And this person with the tower in reverse just doesn't want to change their ways. But I feel like someone put up with someone's behavior for a long time. And that's what made this person's heart chakra closed off or emotionally distant or whatever. For some of you guys, this could be somebody different that you dated in your past. You avoided a tower with this person because they just are not, they're in a very miserable, unhappy energy. Like, and you are realizing that y'all are incompatible. So you're manifesting this King of Pentacles, King of Swords. I feel like that's what's coming in. Like, they're serious about you, but I feel like they're in this energy where they want to provide and protect. Like, they want to be able to have that. They want to be able to have that here to offer you first and then i feel like this person is very methodical they're very strategic in how they move <laughs> and they're air sign it could be an air sign they got earth in their chart too so they they just gonna be like that someone could be a sag capricorn cusper as well yeah the, the four of pentacles with the ace of cups reversed some of y'all are meeting somebody that's like closed off or whatever the case may be or you have met people that were closed off or whatever. And you're just over it. For some of you guys, this is your counterpart though. And I mean, counterpart or not, I feel like don't. I feel like you're in this energy with the Eight of Pentacles and the Empress where you're not chasing this person. You're going to let them come around when they want to or when they need to or whatever this is. Because I feel like you already have in your heart or in your mind that this is your person. So it's like, I feel like you're continuing to focus on your creative pursuits and your creative endeavors, or that's what you need to do and let this person purge and do what they need to do. Something here needs your patience. This is happening in divine time. And so just take your time and don't move fast with this person. Just let them, you know, if this is your counterpart for some of you guys, you know, it's different for every damn body, but this could be your counterpart that is finally purging some toxicity This person could be actually going through like a breakup or some shit. And this could be something where somebody here used them for their money, used them for everything that they got. So the four of pentacles could be, they kind of like holding back because they don't feel secure with their money. Mm, yeah. This could be them hiding a lot of emotions and feelings. Okay, so you got, <laughs> I just feel like, you know, just be patient. If, if you notice your person, they, they're coming around in divine timing. But it feels like they kind of like not as closed off as they was, which is progress. Which is progress. So, give me a card or two, Spirit, for the collective. Give me a card or two spirit that's in alignment with the spirit for the collective rather. Okay, damn. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, if Arata, healing and abracadabra connect. Yeah, the, okay, the two the right cards came out, I guess. Yeah, spirit act. So, this is like the temperance card. This person got a Sag in their chart, or this is you. So, it says the moon box of the witch doctor has spilled open to reveal a pool of water. The cannabis leaf, earth, and the flower of life, fire, and creation represent the spirit's awakening in the physical body. This is the card for the spiritual sign of Sagittarians because it combines wisdom with the special off-the-cuff behavior. 
If Farada is the problem solver with many solutions, this card represents a balance between our primal animal nature and our divine spiritual side. Your favorite Sagittarian has big, when did you forget you were divine energy? And more often than not, they are the source of your growth experiences. Being in the human experience requires enthusiasm first, then discipline and later dedication. If Farada often signals a time for travel, which is essential to, to the soul. Hmm. This card appears when the bridge between your higher self and your human self jokingly pokes at you to take that trip with your friends or lover. It reminds you to not be so serious and remember that experience is sometimes the best teacher on your journey of awakening. The opportunities for growth are infinite in your career, your life, your business, and especially your wealth. If Iferata appears, it is time to ask yourself, is it time to go back to Iku and make more changes and allow myself to let go? Iku. What is that? That's a card on this deck. I don't feel like finding it. But yeah, this person is in a very serious energy. Like, But I feel like this person, though, they're like this because they're self-aware. Like, they, they know what they have to work through. And they don't want to burden you with it. So I feel like that's fair. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like that's fair, to be honest. And I feel like they're being honest. The King of Swords, they're being honest. <laughs> I'd rather have that shit than a fucking losing liar and somebody that's sitting up here broke <laughs> or whatever. I mean, you could be broke and be a good person, but I'm saying like bummy and all that. You're going to be a liar and you're going to be a bum. It's like you got to pick a struggle here. <laughs> but it says, so the Abracadabra card, it says connect. Abracadabra is said to be a magical series of numbers, and if you write it out in a certain way, it will bring miracles into your life. The literal translation is, I will create as I speak. In this card, you are encouraged to speak to your heart. The topical oracle tells you to rub your heart and chest with love. Speak to your heart in a way that creates a gratitude rampage. Take the topic of your choice and rub the spelling of Abracadabra onto your heart chakra and just be. Be still, be here. Yeah, for extra integration, do the... Do the pairing below and read all the cards in the spread. So the plant spirit is aloe. So aloe vera. Yeah, I feel like um, this person could be... Right now, they're in a, kind of like a pessimistic energy. A little bit because they're trying to get it together. <laughs> but I'm getting like two different energies off that though. This King of Pentacles, King of Swords, that person is in the in the middle of a, an awakening. And then we have this King of Swords, King of Cups in the reverse that's just depressed. They're moody. They're all over the place. They don't have no kind of emotional availability. And I feel like that's what you don't want. That's why that Two of Cups is in the reverse because that's somebody else's energy. It's not this person's. Your person could be awakening here. They're coming out of a situation or something like that or whatever where there is unrequited love. Like they know it's unrequited. So... They're coming out of it. I feel like this person is very self-aware and they're very serious about where they want to go and what they want to do in their life. So I'm kind of like getting that separate. That separate energy. <clears throat> I don't feel like that's your person. <laughs> Why am I hearing that song? Uh, I got my mind made up. And I won't turn back because I want to see my Jesus someday. I got my mind made up and I won't turn back because I want to see my Jesus someday. <laughs> That's an old gospel song. <laughs> Let's get a car spirit for the collective. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Okay. They want to come out in twos. You guys have been saying two, two, two. So we have Saturn, age, reality, and discipline, and dissolution, emotional clearing. Yeah. Emotional clearing. Ashira, mother of the gods. Is it Ashira or Asira or whatever? I don't know. But let's see.
So it says Saturn teaches us that the gold in life comes with age, hard work, discipline, and structure. When the Saturn car shows up, it's time for you to put in time, effort, and sweat. Where have you cut corners? Saturn is asking for you to stay the course to alchemize your soul's lead into gold. Saturn in astrology brings harsh lessons, limitation, restriction, time, and wisdom. It rules over the earth sign of Capricorn and the air sign of Aquarius. Yeah, that king of swords. Somebody could definitely be an Aquarius Capricorn cusper. That king of swords always gives me Aquarius Capricorn cusper, but it's crazy too because they're right beside this um king of swords. I mean, the king of pentacles. So definitely earth. They could be Aquarius Capricorn cusp or something like that. Or they have earth in their chart or whatever. Or this is you. But it says Capricorn is associated with the authoritative and hierarchical, hierarchical, whatever, Saturn, while Aquarius invokes a new structure, innovation, and the future. Saturn is associated with the archetype of Father Time and was the final outer planet in ancient astrology prior to the modern planets, Uranus, Neptune, and Pluto. Therefore, Saturn is associated with reality, boundaries, and limitations. Saturn, known as Cronus by the Greeks, was a harsh deity in ancient Roman mythology who ate his own children out of fear of being overthrown. Ruling with his iron sickle, he was the god of crops. While Saturn can be difficult to handle as a malefic planet, one that brings hardship and difficulty, it also can bring a positive force in transforming our lives. This dark astrological energy can show us where we need to learn difficult lessons and face reality. Once we learn Saturn's lessons, we will be we will be master alchemists, transforming trauma into triumphs. Yeah, so that's what somebody is doing. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Very nice. So we have dissolution. It says, after the ego has burned to ashes, you are left with raw, real, and challenging emotions around what has occurred. This is like the feeling you have after your heart has been shattered into pieces by needing to say goodbye to someone who isn't healthy in your life. Yeah. Or the feeling of fear around money and taking care of yourself after you've left that cushy yet miserable job in favor of pursuing your passion. The universe is requiring you to sit with the angst and unpredictability when you pull this card in your reading. Processing, purging, and working with your emotions is extremely important during your alchemical journey. When the dissolution card shows up in an oracle reading, it's signaling a time for you to cleanse and wash away emotions that have prevented you from shining your light in the world. Your frequency and vibration consisting of thoughts and feelings emanate from your physical body and create the world around you. When we release limiting emotions like fear, self-doubt, and unworthiness, our magnetism and vibratory manifestation power increase. Hmm. Yeah. Um. This is the second phase in al al in alchemy involving the water element, and associated with Jupiter, the the element water, and associated with Jupiter, the planet of spiritual growth. In this stage, there is an emotional cleansing of limitations, trauma, outdated patterns, and belief systems. This step cleanses away the ashes that were created from cal calcination or calcination. I think it's calcination. While this can feel uncomfortable, it is necessary for you to pull back the societal mask and reveal your true self. So it says dissolution phase shadow work. Draw yourself a purifying bath with sea salt crystals of your choice. Allow yourself to soak and meditate on this part of your inner transformation. Yeah, so it says you are cleansing your unconscious mind. Sink into the deep waters of your soul to find the answers. Yeah, so this person, I mean, that could actually still be. I keep going back and forth with it. <laughs> I feel like, you know, if this person is trying to clear some things out right now, this could be them being emotionally, like, closed off. And Spirit is telling you to be patient. But I, feel, I sense them coming around is what I'm getting. But they are in a very serious energy because they're just trying to <clears throat> purge some sort of abusive connection. This person could have been gaslighted a lot or... um They could have been cheated on a lot or they just... I don't know. They dealt with some dark shit with somebody loser ass they baby mama or whoever the fuck that is yeah i don't think should i pull something else let me see yeah 
get a perspective, better off, happiness, and clear headspace. <coughs> Excuse me, damn. And girl with the snake charmed or used and able in boundaries. Yeah. So. What's this King of Swords, King of Pentacles person? <clears throat> not today, yeah. <laughs> Boundaries and hurt, avoiding conversation, not dealing, still upset, yeah. It's giving because they're not really in their emotions too much. Hammer, sabotage and rebuild, persistent, working on it, repairing, yeah. Someone cares to be a mechanic or something. Yeah, soulmates. Soulmates, soul connection, partnership, soul contract, life partner. Mm-hmm. What's the King of Cups reverse? With this Nine of Pentacles reverse, Nine of Cups reverse. Sword and Rose. Clarity and truth, revelations, honor and protection, and determination. Yeah, so this person is getting some clarity around why they're like this or what changes they need to make to um, become more open to love. And <clears throat> they're finding out that the person that they was around or with in the past was a snake. Just period. What else? Yeah, abandoned. Yeah, left out, walk, walked away, cold. So this person could definitely, like I said, be setting boundaries and abandoning any situation that's not in alignment. Yeah, clock. Needing time cycles and takes time. Time to heal and progressing. Love, yeah. Unconditional love. Self-love and wholeness, affection and attraction and selflessness. Yeah, and then we have engagement ring. Higher commitment, eternity, partnership and union and completion. Yeah. What's this lovers here with the Ten of Pentacles and Three of Wands? You're seeing something progress progress. You just need to be patient. Like, yeah, we have healing heart. Yeah, healing heartbreak, toxicity, or addiction, abusive relationship. Yeah, this person is healing from some sort of abuse, bro. <laughs> they are. This is you. Partying, time with friends, having fun, happily single, living in the moment. The snake. Yeah. Somebody is around some sort of toxic energies. That, that encouraged, I feel like, this person or encouraged you to keep continue to date this person. It's a competition and enemy. The other woman, look over your shoulder. Somebody here set this person up. Somebody, this person that they was with in their past, that they used to party with or deal with or whatever, <clears throat> was purposely trying to hold this person back. Yeah, open heart and running. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. So, what else? Yeah, the chaser. Mm -hmm. Fear of abandonment, chasing, and codependencies, and confusion. Uncertain, unclear, and unsure. Mm -hmm. When you met this person, or some of y'all haven't met this person yet, but maybe when you do, you're going to... This person could have been in some sort of abusive relationship when you met them. Like, they couldn't seem to break free. So you met them at a time where they truly needed you. And I feel like y'all have built some sort of unconditional love relationship now. And um, they know you're their person. So they, they've awakened. I feel like they know you're their person. But you just got to give this person time. Like, I don't know what else to say. They were into something with a snake. And I feel like you were the chaser. That was confused. <laughs> This is what I'm getting like a backstory or this is what you're going through right now. Yeah, somebody is, is learning lessons in love here. They're learning lessons in their love life about their, their love life. I feel like the, if this is your twin, you learn the same shit. So, I mean, I feel like you should know better than anybody else. You know, show this person some grace. The judgment is upright. Forgive. And you forgiving doesn't mean you have to take this person back. But for those of you that are twins, you want this person. <laughs> like, you want this person. All twins want they person. If you're a real twin, you want this person, no matter what the fuck y'all been through. And twins, they don't hurt you. They don't abuse you. They don't be narcissistic like that. Like, they have their ways. 
And I feel like the most frustrating part about a twin flame connection is the runner chaser dynamic. You're chasing this person to get them to open up and they're running because they don't want to right now. They're scared or whatever. <laughs> like, but the love that you and this person share, I feel like they realize that they see it, they're awakening and they are doing the shadow work. So that's better than a lot of these other motherfuckers out here. That's not doing nothing, but they want to portray like they're doing something and they're not. <laughs> like I would rather have my twin at the end of the day, but everybody different. So this was your reading, guys. I hope this resonated for you. Like, comment, subscribe, turn notification bell on, press the all button so you won't miss my reads. And I will talk to y'all later. Bye.